breaking news. We continue to follow breaking news. The entire village of Ridoso is being ordered to evacuate as two wildfires continue to rapidly grow near the area. This right now is a live picture of that fire and you can see the smoke towering right over the town. The red blaze in the background. It truly is a dramatic scene and the fires have dramatically grown in size since this morning and are threatening homes and businesses in the area. Good evening everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. Andy has the night off. When with more than 5,000 acres burned and 0% containment, two fires are scorching the Ridoso and Mescalero Apache Reservation areas. The fires have forced the community to leave so much behind. In fact, residents are being told not to gather any belongings and to not try to protect their homes. The South Fork fire, which is 0% contained, is currently burning near the Mescalero Apache Reservation, which is about three miles from Ridoso. The National Fire Interagency Center is listing the fire along the Rio Ridoso at more than 4,000 acres. The second fire near the Apache Summit started up and is forcing the evacuation of Apache Summit and the closure of U.S. Highway 70. Artirza Ortiz has been right outside the fire line right now at the designated evacuation sites. Tears, I know you've been there all afternoon long. What can you tell us? That's right, Monica. Well, people have been coming all evening to this evacuation site in Lincoln County. We are at Capitan High School where the Red Cross is assisting people. Now, this is just 15 minutes away from the barricade in Rio Doso Village. The fires that are burning right now burning so quickly that many residents here say they were overwhelmed with smoke within hours. The sheriff's office in Alto going through the neighborhoods, getting everyone out. Shelters have been set up for evacuees of what are being called the Salt and South Fork fires. Reservation residents can head to the community center gym. An evacuation center is also set up at the end of the Mountain Gods Convention Center for anyone who could get there safely. Rio so evacuees are being directed towards Roswell at this time. And of course, here at Capitan High School as well, where I spoke with a resident who said he doesn't have hope that he'll have a home to return to. We didn't really feel threatened because it was in the upper canyon, but then the wind shifted and over the next few hours, it just, it just moved quickly. We had to get all the residents. I live in an RV park and we had to make sure and get all of the residents and the overnight people out of there and uh, as soon as we did that I, uh, I got the heck out of Dodge. And it is all hands on deck right now, Monica. The city of Alamogordo will be aiding with mandatory evacuation efforts. Personnel at the Civic Center on standby in the case it needs to open for evacuees. Alamogordo firefighters as well will be deployed to Rio Doso to help with the loss of buildings, along with the police department to help with traffic control. And officials in the area are urging people to just get out, to not worry about saving their homes or taking any of their personal belongings with them, to just get out safely. Now, we will go ahead and continue to bring you updates on air and online as they become available to us. But for right now, Tirza Ortiz live in Lincoln County. Back to you. Thank you so much, Tirza, for that and stay safe out there. We'll be checking in with you a little later in this newscast to keep track of the wildfires or a list of shelters. Just visit our website, KTSM.com.